Oh, I think this will have an enormous impact on uh, how we think about guidelines and how we follow guidelines. Precise tested what we've been recommending based on opinion that we think it's a good idea to risk stratify patients before we before we go on to do some sort of testing and Precise tested that in a randomized way generated high quality evidence to support that approach. I hope that when people see these data that practitioners everywhere think, oh, I, I really need to, to pay attention to this risk for that, that individual person. Precise was a very interesting and unique trial. Recent guidelines have come out and have elevated the role of CT angiography in the diagnostic evaluation of patients with either typical or atypical chest pain as opposed to exercise stress testing. But how to implement that strategy and in which patients to use a CTFFR adjunct to diagnose ischemia and whether or not testing can be deferred in some patients has never really been examined in a prospective randomized trial. Precise was a trial of patients with symptoms potentially concerning for coronary disease who were uh, randomized to either usual care in terms of their workup or to a precision strategy. And the precision strategy is really important because it tested several things. It tested the ability to safely do deferred testing. And then the other piece for those patients who weren't low risk, so the intermediate and high risk patients, they ended up getting CT plus or minus FFR. We know over the last decade that CT has become a game changer in terms of the evaluation of patients with chest pain. In the past, we'd have to send them for either nuclear testing, treadmill testing, or even to the cath lab. Now we can get that better answer without additional resources and without additional work for the patient. So it's really expedited our delivery of healthcare quite a bit. So the key findings were positive, um, looking at a composite of death, MI, myocardial infarction, and looking at catheterization without obstructive disease, that a precision strategy lowered risk of that composite endpoint compared to usual care. So using an approach where we, number one, risk stratify patients, understand what their risk is, patients that are having chest pain, and use modalities like CTA with FFR help us maintain normal clinical outcomes, but also reduce kind of unnecessary catheterization testing. Another interesting finding in the PRECISE trial was that in the precision arm, there were a greater number of catheterizations that resulted in a revascularization compared to the usual care arm, which means there was better identification of severe disease that the clinicians thought should be intervened upon. And that's another measure of efficiency of selection of patients for going to the cath lab. What's really important about this is that it, it's going to take a little bit of time for physicians to realize that this is a new strategy towards assessing patient risk with coronary disease. We had historically done exercise testing and physiology through exercise as our gold standard uh, for pre-cath lab assessment. And I think now we can really expedite and simplify that by using coronary CT. So I would love to see a world where we move earlier and more often to coronary CT and heart flow gives us that physiologic information we were hoping to get from stress testing in a much more accurate and reproducible way. I think for clinicians, having a prospective randomized study that confirms that is incredibly important um, because now clinicians can point to precise and say, when we randomize patients to having deferred testing, which is the first time that's ever been done in a randomized study, none of those patients had events in that precision arm, which is really powerful. Mm -hmm.